I am not a designer and I don't want to spend a thousand dollars and two or three weeks of back and forth on Fiverr to get a good logo. The good news is that we can use a couple of free AI tools and the free design tool Canva to get a really aesthetic logo like this. And it takes just a few minutes. So first we'll use ChatGPT to create a good prompt for us and then paste this prompt in Bing, which uses DALI to create logos for us. Then we'll use Canva to make edits to the logo. But before I show you how to do all of this, if you're planning to make a website or already have one, one mistake most beginners make is that they make a good logo and build a good website, but they forget to make sure that their website is not slow and the visitors get stuck at loading screens. Even brand new sites can become slow very soon. So please take a minute to add your website URL to Google PageSpeed like this. And if you get a score less than 90, then your site is already too slow and we need to fix this before we do anything else. Now there's many speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. And you can just add your site and with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here. It's free and you can keep it activated as long as you want. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. Now that we're sure that we don't have a slow site, let's create that free logo. All right, so let's first open chat GPT in a new tab and then log in. Now let's type in the details of the type of logo I want. The more detail we add here, the better our images will be later. So let me write something simple like this for now and ask for five prompts. All right, so I have my prompts. Let me copy the last one because it sounds interesting. Now, there's a lot of AI image generators out there, but I like Bing because it uses DALI, which is quite popular and is otherwise paid if you use it directly, but free with Bing. So let's open Bing in a new tab, then search for Bing image generator. Here it is. Now I'll sign in with my Microsoft account. Done. Now let me paste my prompt in and see what it shows me. All right, these are pretty good but I'm gonna try another prompt just to see if it gives me better options. So let's go back to ChatGPT, copy this, now back on Bing, paste and generate. All right, these look good as well. So let's click this one. It opens in a new tab with our image and we can click here to download it. All right, now we have our logo, but we're not done yet. Let's hop on to Canva for some fine touches and to edit this. So. I'll use the logo I showed you at the beginning of this video. It's minimalistic, has a coffee cup and looks like a bird. Giving my brand a whimsical look, which I like. So I'll open Canva on a new tab here and sign in. Now there's a ton of things here, but let's just ignore them. Go to the top right and click on this button called create a design. Click it and it opens a drop down. So I'll choose logo. This will give us a canvas with the right proportions. So on the left sidebar, we'll go to uploads and then click it. Then this sidebar will open up and all we need to do is drag and drop our logo. All right, our logo is uploaded. Now let me just drag it onto our canvas. It's a little small, so I'm gonna right click it and choose the option to set it as a background. Now this is just a picture, so let me add some text. On the sidebar here, let's click text. It opens this section and I'll click add a heading. Now you can see this text box appears in the canvas. I'll just adjust the position now I can click here and let me add a name like this. Now the font is not suiting the design, so let me edit that. Right here is the option. Now I can change the font size, color, etc. So I'll just click the font option and you can see it opens in the options in the sidebar. Now you can either manually search for the font that you want or you can just type the name into the search bar. And I think this one works. So let me add a tagline below. Uh, on the left sidebar, I'll click text once more, then add another box. I'll adjust the position of the box using these arrows again, then click to edit it. And then the font option to change it to this font. It's a little small, so I'll use the size option to make it a bit bigger. And that's it. Now we can keep customizing this until we're happy. There's a lot of options here, uh, but I'll just show you how to download it. So I can go here and click on the share button. It opens this drop down and I'll download it as a PNG. Now, if you wanted an SVG file that you want to put in Photoshop, Canva is going to ask you to pay, but don't worry about that. There's a bunch of AI tools that you can use to change a PNG file into an SVG file. All right, now we have a logo that we used AI and Canva to make, but if you want a more personalized, more customized logo, sometimes the AI generators can't help you out. But don't worry, Canva has a bunch of templates and design options that you can use to create a really customized logo. So let me quickly show you how to do that as well because it's really helpful. So what we do is, we're just going to click the design button on the left sidebar. 
Now I'll type coffee into this search bar here and I like the first design so let me select it. Now it's gonna ask me if I want to add a new page or replace it. I'll replace it for now. Uh, okay, it's given me this template. Now I already have a coffee cup logo so I'll select this coffee cup here and delete it. Now from the left sidebar I'll click uploads to find the logo that I had made earlier and here it is. Now I'll click it to add it to this page but you can see the colors are not matching here. So let me just right click my logo and choose apply colors to page. Bam! The whole thing is matching now. All right, now I'll just edit the text here and then I'll resize it a bit and voila! Now I definitely recommend playing around with the templates to make your logo more customized and unique but you can always just put a template in and then choose a font. And if you're feeling playful and creative, you can even add some more elements to your logo from the sidebar. All you need to do is click on the elements here. Now let me type birds into my search bar and then select graphics from this menu. And a lot of them with the crown logo are premium, but the rest are free. So let me pick this one and then adjust its position. Looks quite decent. Now that I picked this graphic, Canva has given me a few more suggestions. Oh, I like this one. So let me just put a bunch more around this and make it look like there are birds flying in the background. So you see, you can get really creative in customizing your logo and when you're done, you can just go up and download it as a PNG. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.